What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Hold on! I have a feeling we're being watched. Oh, the little spy cat. It wasn't that long ago. When a pit opened up in this area. Giant holes? Lights? Enraged monsters? Can't make heads or tails of anything. We'll find the pit if we go that way. Chief has mistaken you for the legendary rider who stopped the Black Blight. But if you do form a bond of kinship with Ratha, you really could become a legend. Yeah, I couldn't have put it better myself. I'm sure you can become a renowned writer too, buddy. <laughs> Is something wrong? Could it be that you're afraid? Because Ratha may have a terrible power? If Ratha really does have that power, I'm sure I wouldn't know what to do either. But Monsties listen to their riders. And if there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious too. They say the Mind Buddy's grandpa could understand what monsters were saying. But this is the first time I've heard about monsters understanding people. Monsters are extremely sensitive to feelings. It's not words, but emotion. They don't have a language like us, so maybe that's why they're more attuned to feelings. I guess that makes sense. If you're scared, Ratha won't be able to show his true power. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. That's the spirit. Something wrong, Naviru? Uh, hmm, it really feels like we've been watched this whole time. But by who? I don't see anyone. Hmm. Sweet toe beans. Do I have fanatical fans following me? I wish they wouldn't be so shy. I love meeting my fans. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Could that be? We've got trouble. We better hurry, buddy. I mean, sooner or later, I'm gonna come head to head with uh, Suyomi, Suyomi, whatever her name is. Moon Cat. Still trying to think, like, what could it be? I mean, Velcana would be a pretty badass ice boss, but it feels too early for Elder Dragons. Based on the stuff that we're fighting. Ice, 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 ice. Um. Maybe the big old thing from uh, Iceborne? The big ram looking thing. I don't remember its name. Bonbaro. Bonbaro could. I mean, he's an early tier monster, but he's big and intimidating, so maybe. Maybe Bonbaro. Oh, damn it. think other things that we fought in the frosty regions i mean rajang you usually encounter him in frosty regions but i would find it very unlikely that they give us rajang this early Jump. Oh, 
Geyser number one. It looks like a six. that I probably missed. Damn it. Well, I see a bunch of chests here, so... Let's start grabbing. Health. Medium. Just straight up health. That's geyser number two. Stimulant, hell yeah. Like Yana or shrieking like Yana, either of those could be possible, Frosties. Um, what else? Number three. Let me do Geyser three first. I think that one takes me to the nearby treasure chest. One did take me to the chest, but I can't reach the damn thing. the way out of here. So is Geyser 3 just a standalone, or does it go deeper? This is bringing me to the pit? Maybe we skipped Geyser 2 completely, but this looks like a like an Everdin or something. This has got to be the right way. Coming out to the outside again. Yup, there it is. It's a, what's it called? Um, Celtis Queen. I feel like something's amiss. Hey! We've got. 
got to search closer. It's a Celtus. Oh no, it's all out of storage. Wait, just a regular Celtus? Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I was like, there's no way it's a Celtus without the Queen. Celtus Queen is weak to, I think, fire? Weakest to fire and ice. According to Karanico, fire is 30, ice is 25. So assuming similar weaknesses here. Um, first thing, switching monsters, Anja, you're coming on out. And while I have the window, hot mist. Then it's gonna be. Did it just say technical attack? Yeah. So they're both technical fighters. Which makes my brute power fantastic. Let's smash the regular Celsius first. Heat up. We're gonna shatter the head here. Formation. Celtus on its back. Coming for me, and it's pissed. Um, let's do. I doubt it would go back to technical. I think it's gonna go power, so I'm gonna try speed. Fuck, speed. Probably down here. No, barely survived. Switch to the hammer. Damn. No. Ah. Oh, who knows? Maybe it's come nice. I feel like hammer to crack the shell. No, it is gun nice. Okay.
attack is up. Are you still playing speed games? Charge your breath, whatever that does. That doesn't sound good. Damn. Just going through like all kinds of unique abilities. Uh, summoning out another Celtus. Okay, I think it's back to being technical. Yes, it is. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention to that. I was so busy trying to do mine. Let's go. Big damage. 400 damage. Here we one. Come on, I need to kill this thing before it manages to mount. Fuck. Ah. It's such bullshit, because like I did so much damage to it, it just combines anyway. Started going mad. I think it went to speed attack. Get out, play. Two in the top room with one stone. Hell yeah. I like to see it. <laughs> I bet the gear is like really good for gun lance. Your kinship stone powered up again. Just like when we fought the Anginath and Rathian. It's gotta be the light that made them act all weird. Which means the guild's theory was correct. This light makes monsters more violent. But something doesn't add up. When monsters are hit by the rage rays, they lose control. That means it should be dangerous for our monsties too. I wonder why the light doesn't affect them. Those are the bonds of friendship. This is some seriously perplexing stuff. But I'd say we're making progress. Let's head back to the chief. Yes, let's go.
Let's head to the village. Shouldn't we request backup from the other hunters? Your reasoning? Hmm. I just have a bad feeling. Okay then. Let's reach out to them. Oh. I thought you'd object. It's just as you said. We shouldn't wait until it's too late. Besides, I hear your instincts are spot on. I see. Well then. But I'm a bit disappointed. Huh? Why? Oh, it's neither here nor there. What? Got a metal friend of Avinia. Kinship stone level four. Okay. Mm. Chugga, 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 chugga. I mean, I could just warp out, but there's like actually... What the hell? What? It's a red Kezu? Is this a... Is this a variant? Introduced in Monster Hunter G. They are weak to water and are still considered thunder monsters. Covered in fatty blood red hide, greater control over the extendable neck than the common species and possesses a more potent thunder sack. So I'm definitely taking this thing back to wherever it goes. but no wait he's doing speed attacks right now oh so that's that's the game I see we do lock on on and then you do that wild charge thing. Or heavy spear. We'll it together. Oh, come on! Damn. 
afflicted with something. I don't know what. What did you say to that? Apparently, it doesn't stop me from riding, which means you can get fucked, my guy. I didn't know we were about to kill it. I would have, uh, would have paintballed, followed it to its den. Still, that was cool. That was the first variant we found. Um. I don't know if there's anything I get anything for going into the cat burrow. I mean, usually there's like a the chest inside the burrows. Yeah. I believe of all the variants, the first thing I find is a red kezu. Try and get the other chests that are here before I leave. I'm surprised though. I mean, the Rathian in the last zone, we we had a lot of trouble fighting that. We had to go get new gear, level up our armor, like really, kind of kind of prep for the encounter, if you will. And Celtis, we cleaned house. Which, to be fair, I mean, Anjanath is really strong, and I feel like he was a really good counter against the Celtus. So it worked out pretty well. Yeah, no, I need a fly or a jump monster to get that. So... There we go. That gets me to the one I wanted that I couldn't reach before. And then I just want to pop over to level two. Probably brings me to the last chest. That also just brings me right here. Okay, well, how do I get over to... Oh. Is it a jump or a fly? Oh, oh I'm dumb. Was a fanged bee stimulant, which is good stuff. Anyway, we're gonna head back to Quan Village. Um, up next, I'm sure we're we probably got a bunch of uh, cutscene type stuff, but then it should be off to the next biome. So, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at new gear before we go. Here is here. I'm also curious if variants have their own gear in this. Forge weapons. Nitro boost hammer. 73 damage water hammer. Not too bad. And haze. 43. How does this compare? Less defense, more damage. Heat Haze, Feminine Haze. Kezu Shock Sword, Kezu Razor, Blazing Edge. 
Stealth is armor, and as expected, yes. Blast plate and explosives, guard HP after guarding, decent amount of extra ammo with the gun lance. I knew it would have gun lance stuff. Hermitar. Sucks that the red has got away, Thank but you. oh well. Anyway, wrap it up here. We are reporting back to the chief, and I will catch y'all in the next episode.